So guys, patch 1.1 is live for your platform, PC, Stadia and consoles and today we're going to read through those patch notes. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So let's get straight into it, people quoting what they say in these patch notes right now. In this update, we focused on various stability improvements, which you will find outlined in the patch notes below. We will continue this work in patch 1.2 and other upcoming updates. At the same time, we will keep fixing the bugs you encounter and listening to your feedback on how to improve the overall game experience. Stability, various stability improvements including memory usage improvements in various systems within the game, characters, interactions, navigation, in-game videos, news, TV, etc. Foliage, laser effects, minimap, devices, AI, street traffic, environmental damage system, GPU related and more. Various crash fixes related to, among others, loading saves, game opening, closing and a point of no return. Now the quests and open world you'll see on screen now. Quickly reading through these which you'll see on screen, I mean there's not much here I actually encountered myself, I mean I've played on PC, I've played on the Series X, I haven't had any encounters I'm seeing here, especially with that Space Oddity mission, I mean I got that painting straight away people, as you probably know. But yeah looking at these, there isn't anything here like I said, I myself have experienced. But if you have experienced any crazy quests which is stopping your playthrough, pause the video now and read through these and hopefully your fix is here. Moving on to UI, fixed an issue where prompt for exiting brain dance could be missing. Oh, that would be awkward. Removed an invalid item from loot. What was that invalid item, people? Is that something I've missed? I don't know. Visual, fixed an issue where grenade's trajectory could be displayed in photo mode. Fixed particles hue appearing pink when viewed close up. Fixed cars spawning incorrectly in reported crime. Welcome to Night City. Okay, so achievements, and I know this is a big thing to a few people. Fixed an issue where completing one of the assaults in progress in Santo Domingo would sometimes not contribute towards progression for the jungle achievement, preventing its completion. Miscellaneous, address the issue responsible for saves getting oversized, related to the modifier indicating if the item is crafted and trim the excess size from the already existing saves. Note, this won't fix PC save files corrupted before the 1.06 update and I'm guessing this is the over 8 megabytes in size problem many people were having. I mean a lot of people were crafting and crafting and crafting and crafting and this save, your save file was going over 8 megabytes and I believe it would corrupt the save. So it's good to see they've got a fix out for this. Fix an issue where input could start registering upon opening the weapon wheel and performing an action. Fix an issue where the continue button in the main menu could load an end game save. Okay, so PlayStation specific. Performance optimization of crowds on PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5. And various crash fixes on PlayStation 4. Now, if you do play on PlayStation 4, I want to know what your experience is like after you've experienced this patch. I want to see if you're still getting as many crashes. Xbox specific. Improved memory usage for character creation, mirrors, scanning, camera remote control, menus, inventory and map on Xbox One, Xbox One X and Xbox One S. Okay, so PC specific. It will now be possible to obtain achievements while in Steam offline mode. Note, offline mode needs to be enabled before starting the game. This change does not work retroactively. Address the game stop crashes related to loading cache on Nvidia graphics cards. And Stadia specific. Do people actually play this on Stadia? Let me know if you do and let me know what your experience is like. Concert audio should no longer be inaudible, it never fade away. Fix corrupted textures on several melee weapons. Tweaked default dead zone settings to be more responsive. Note, the change will not affect settings unless they're set to default. And people, there it is, there's patch 1.1. Now I think we do expect patch 1.2 sometime soon. Did they say a week after this? Maybe I'll, I'll give them two weeks people and then we can expect 1.2. 
as the roadmap isn't entirely clear as you can see on the screen now. But yeah guys, I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna start testing. I believe on Xbox it's around 20 gigabytes, but it's just replaced 20 gigabytes worth of file on my overall save. My overall save for the game is still 59.1 gigabytes, but I've definitely got the 1.1 patch installed. So that's my version right now. But yeah, let me know how it goes for you after playing once this patch is installed for you. And let me know how the platform you play it on. Does it change again? Does it improve it? Let me know. But guys, on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk, on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one